Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out this week's latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build to the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders, Build 26090, which they rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 28th of March. Now, as I've posted previously, there's not too much happening in the Canary and Dev Channel channels of late because Microsoft is already finalizing this year's annual feature update version 24H2 and in effect the Canary and Dev channels are where Microsoft is working on um, those features we could see roll out with our annual feature update and I posted a video in regards to this a couple of days ago where Windows 11 24H2 RTM is getting close as Microsoft starts finalizing this year's feature update and that will be in the end screen. So that's why we're not seeing that many new features in these early preview builds. So what's new in build 26090? First of all, Microsoft say they are restarting uh, the rollout of the widgets board improvements that originally began rolling out with build 26058, which was a previous insider build, where they are now introducing a new navigation bar, as we can see, on the left allowing you to switch between a dedicated widgets dashboard and other integrated dashboards like Discover. And I actually think this is a nice move because uh, currently in the stable version we have the option to turn off the news feed. But if you are referring to the news feed from time to time, I actually think this is a nice move because you can always just leave it on the widgets by default. And then if you want to check or have a quick glance whenever you need to at the news feed, you can just head over to that uh, dashboard, so to speak, and you can just flip between your discover feed and the widgets and I actually think this will be a nice move if it does roll out um, to the stable version with this year's annual feature update. So those are the widget board improvements. Now moving on to the next and I'm just going to mention this quickly because it's mainly focused at IT admins in corporations and enterprises and I don't think your um, average home user would be interested but they've rolled out more server message block SMB protocol changes so that as mentioned would affect mainly administrators and RT admins. Now I think the key highlight for this build is that Microsoft says the build watermark at the lower right hand corner of the desktop is not present in this build and will return in future insider preview builds. And the reason for this is because this is part of their normal process for preparing Windows 11, which is going to the version 24H2 annual update for release to customers later this year. Um, but Microsoft says they're not done. So this is going to return at a later stage. And as mentioned, Windows 11 version 24H2 will be this year's annual feature update. And Microsoft has announced before that Windows 11 will have an annual feature update cadence that releases in the second half of the calendar year. Read the fact we're getting Windows 11 version 24H2. And this screenshot you're looking at here, just on a side note, is a from a video I posted regarding this watermark that you can add in the stable version of Windows 11 if you don't find yourself in the Insider program and would like to see some information regarding your Windows 11 um, build and version. And that video was how to add the version and build watermark to your Windows desktop. And that will also be in the end screen if you'd like some more information on how to do that in the stable version. So um, that's a good sign once again that they are removing this watermark that um, version 24H2 for now is getting closer to being finalized for its release to the general public in September and or October um, this year, 2024. Now, something else um, to take note of is regarding Copilot. And Microsoft says you can now ask Copilot in Windows for help 10 times when you sign into Windows using a local account. After that, you must sign in using a Microsoft account, MSA for short. And that's more or less what's new uh, in the Canary and Dev channels this week. Over and above that, we get fixes for known issues because obviously um, these early preview builds are quite unstable with a lot of bugs. And there's also new known issues because, as mentioned, it is early days. So that's more or less, guys, what's new in this week's latest uh, Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 26090, which rolled out on the 28th to the Canary and Dev channels. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.